Our today's topic is electron transport chain in chloroplast. Chloroplast electron transport chain is a series of multi-protein complexes that transfer electrons from electron donors to electron acceptors via redox reactions and couples the electron transfer with uh, proton transfer across the thylakoid membrane. This creates an electrochemical proton gradient that drives the synthesis of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, means energy-rich molecules. Photosynthesis, like respiration, is a redox process. Redox means oxidation reduction process. In this process, water molecules are split apart by oxidation, which means that they lose electrons along with hydrogen ions. Then carbon dioxide is reduced to sugars as electrons and hydrogen ions are added to it. The primary light driven reaction in photosynthesis occur in the thylakoid membrane and are mediated by photosystem 2 and photosystem 1. Actually, chloroplasts use light energy and a linear electron transport pipe for generation of NADPH and ATP. However, production ratio of ATP to NADPH is usually less than required to fulfill the energetic needs of the chloroplast. So, this product of light reaction means NADPH and ATP are used up by the enzyme of uh, the carbon dioxide assimilation cycle which is localized in the matrix means stroma part of the chloroplast. So chloroplast ETC is a series of protein complexes and molecules that use light energy to transfer electrons from water to produce ATP energy. Next is mechanisms of electron transport. Photosynthetic light reactions occur uh, in the um, thylakoid membrane. Just look at this diagram. This is chloroplast, thylakoids, and single thylakoid. So, this whole electron transport uh, uh, chain or mechanism is occurring on the thylakoid membrane here. So, this is stroma part and this is inner thylakoid space. So, photosynthetic light reactions occur in four uh, thylakoid membrane embedded multiprotein complexes. These are Photosystem 2, cytochrome B6F, photosystem 1, and ATP synthase. All these uh, are located on this uh, thylakoid membrane. High in higher plants, these complexes are unevenly distributed along uh, uh, this thylakoid membrane as photosystem 2 complexes are mostly located in the granular stacks, while photosystem 1 and ATP synthase are enriched in the stroma-exposed thylakoid part. Photosynthetic electron flow operates in two modes, linear and cyclic. In cyclic electron flow, electrons are recycled around photosystem 1. As a result, transthaloid proton gradient is generated, leading to the production of ATP without the production of NADPH, thus increasing the ATP and ATPH ratio within the chloroplast. In linear electron flow, both the photosystems function in series and electrons are transferred all the way from water to NADP plus with the production of NADPH plus ATP. So first, we will discuss linear electron flow. In linear mode, electrons are transferred from water, just look at this diagram, this is thylakoid membrane and here in linear mode, electrons are transferred from water to NADP plus via three major transmembrane complexes. These are photosystem 2, the cytochrome B6F complex and photosystem 1. Now different steps. In linear electron flow. Let's look at this diagram. First of all, this photosystem 2 absorbs a photon of light. Then one of the electrons of the chlorophyll A of P680 in uh, photosystem 2 reaction center complex is excited 
to higher energy state. This electron is then transferred to the primary Q known molecule QA to reduce it to QA minus. Electron is then transferred to the secondary Q known uh, this molecule QB to yield semi Q known that is QB minus. This loss of electron converts QA minus back to QA. Then this QA now receives the second electron from P680 and transfer it to QB minus and to fully reduce it to QB2. This fully reduced QB2 minus take up two protons from the stroma and gets converted to plus 2 Q node. Right? At this point, QBH2 dissociates from this com P, uh, PS2 complex and moves toward the luminal side of the thylakoid membrane. Here it releases the proton. You can see here protons into the thylakoid lumen, which was initially picked up from the stroma part and leads to the generation of proton gradient by light driven electron transport through PS2 complex. After releasing the protons into the lumen, QB comes back to uh, photosystem 2 complexes and uh, the cycle continues. However, continuous loss of electrons from P680 in light creates electron hole here, which is eventually filled by uh, this abstraction of electrons from water which separates water and evolves oxygen, right? So, electrons from here then received by cytochrome B, B uh, 6F complex. Now, cytochrome B6F complex has uh, three electron carriers. Cytochrome F, iron sulfur protein and cytochrome uh, B6. It functions as plastoquinol, plastocyanin oxidoreductase, right? And transferring electron from plastoquinol to plastocyanin. This is plastocyanin. Plastocyanin is a copper containing protein present in the thyroid lumen, right? So, electron transferred through this complex is also accompanied by proton translocation from stroma to the thylakoid lumen which contributes to the generation of proton gradient so mobile trans uh, this um, uh, electron carrier protein plastocyanin which is reduced by cytochrome b6f complex eventually transfer electron to p700 to fill the electron hole created by light induced electron transfer through this ps1 complex. Now, PS1, we are here. So, photosystem 1 is a pigment protein complex having several electron carriers, which include uh, chlorophyll A acceptor molecules, then uh, phylloquinone, vitamin K1, the bound iron sulfur center FX, then FA and FB. So, plastocyanin is an electron donor for PS1, while the soluble iron sulfur protein feridoxin is the terminal electron acceptor here. For uh, better clarity, I'll explain from this diagram. So, feridoxin, we were here. So, feridoxin is located in the chloroplast stroma part. The reduced feridoxin is a strong reductant with the redox potential of minus 420 MB and it is capable of reducing NADP to NADPH. So, reduced feridoxin, this, however, does not transfer electrons directly to NADP plus, but involves an enzyme known as feridoxin NADP plus reductase. FNR. FNR is an uh, FAD containing enzyme that can be reduced 
uh, in two single electron steps before it reduces NADP plus to NADPH. Now, electron transport through this PS1 complex, which reduces this NADP plus to NADPH, uh, creates an electron hole at the reaction center of PS1, P700, which eventually needs to be filled in. So, this electron hole may be filled in by electron arising from PS2 complex, then transferred, uh, transferred to uh, this uh, here in the uh, cytochrome B6F complex, then to plastocyanin and ultimately to photosystem. One. So, this would fill the electron hole at PS1 complex, but at the same time, another electron hole would appear at the P photosystem 2, P680. Uh, deficiency at P680 is replenished by, as I already told you, withdrawing electron from water molecules through the oxygen evolving complex. So, to put it simply, the electrons originate from water, this water molecule, and eventually accepted by NADP, uh, uh, NADP plus. So, it does not come back to this water molecule. These uh, from here electrons uh, does not come back to the water molecule. So, from which it had originated. For this reason, this electron transport pathway remains linear. Second is cyclic electron transport in chloroplast. So, cyclic electron transport pathway is another alternative uh, which operates when level of NADP plus is low and that of NADPH is high in the stomach. In this situation, NADP plus, now just look at this diagram. Now, here NADP plus is not available here. To accept electrons originated from this P700 of uh, photosystem 1 complex and therefore they are returned back to P700 itself through the components of PS1 then cytochrome B6 F complex then to plastocyanin and ultimately to PS1. So, it occurs under the condition uh, of uh, means uh, when carbon dioxide fixation is inhibited. So, absence of carbon dioxide uh, fixation results, results in non-requirement of electron as um, NADPH is not being oxidized to NADP plus. So, cy this cyclic uh, photophosphorylation is performed by photosystem 1 only. While passing between pyridoxine and plastoquinone and or over the cytochrome complex, electron lose sufficient energy to form ATP from ADP and inorganic phosphate. This is also accompanied by pumping of proton from stoma into the thylakoid lumen, thereby generating the pH gradient, which is dissipated through the F0, F1 uh, part of uh, ATP uh, complex, leading to synthesis of ATP. This mode of light driven ATP synthesis is referred to as cyclic photophosphorylation. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe for more. Thank you.